Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our book review of The Complete Book of Crochet Stitch Designs by Linda P. Schaefer. This is a super great book. It's pretty much my go-to. There's a link for it in the description box below, so feel free to click on that. Uh, it should pop up in a new window, I hope. If not... <laughs> Well, see how that goes. Anyway, check it out. It's on Amazon. It's quite inexpensive. It's about $13. And there is a lot of stitches in here. Oh, a lot. I think I want to say 500. Yep, pretty much 500. Yeah, the last one. So a lot of stitch designs. What I really do like about it is they have a pictorial index at the front so you can just kind of browse through and see what design you like if, if you want lots of holes or texture or a solid or a flat or a grid uh, and then you can see what page number it's on or what design number it is and just flip to that and there's obviously pages and pages of those on there which I find super handy because you can kind of just go through and be like, oh, I'd really like it to look like that. The other thing I really like about the book is all the yarn that they use for their designs is the same yarn. They basically just use a natural color, a neutral, and sometimes they change the background. There's like a blue and then there can be like a red, but that's it. The design you're seeing is just the plain yarn. So I really like that because it actually shows the pattern that you're going to be getting, uh, like the texture, the pattern, it do, you don't fall in love with the color. You're like, you know, you can compare them a lot easier. And once you do decide on your pattern, let's flip to something randomly, uh, it will show you the picture and the chart of how to start it and the multiples, like, a, you know, what was this one say, for example. Uh, so you start with a chain multiples of four plus three or whatever it is for the pattern that you want to do, the stitch design. And it also has the written instructions down below. So I really, really, really like that because you can, whatever way you're good at reading patterns, if you're good at following the written instructions or reading a chart, you, it has both. And from the patterns I have made from it, I have not had any discrepancies. You know, sometimes uh, the written pattern will be like missing something and you have to check the chart or the chart will be a bit vague, although not really so often, and you read the written patterns. This has been bang on for the, the designs that I have made from it. And I really like it. It's really great for like a go-to, like if you want to make something, you can be like, oh, what stitch? And then you can kind of just flip through and find a pattern that you like and be like, oh, I'll make that. So I really like it because it doesn't, it really it helps your creativity. You're not limited to a yarn type or a color or anything at all or, you know, a blanket or a scarf or anything. You could make a scarf or a blanket or a dishcloth, like anything from any of these designs. So I really like it. Highly recommend 500 designs in here. Paperback, obviously, it's quite heavy. I shipped it from the States. It's probably, I don't want to say two kilos, but this is, it is a, it's a weighty. But you really, you get way more than you pay for. At first, I didn't really, it wasn't my first book I bought. I bought a lot. I have a whole library of crochet books, and this is my top. I probably use this almost the most. Uh, but it is paperback, and I was like, oh, I don't want a paperback. Yes, you do. This book is light. You totally need it. It is really really great once you are crocheting on your own like once you if you want to make a blanket or something without being told how to make the entire blanket this lets you do that like with 500 different patterns so i really 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 recommend it i am enjoying using it a lot it's my go-to so check it out on amazon link in the description description box below highly 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 recommend so I hope that helps you guys and yes this is the book I used for the pattern for my drunken granny oh downside of it which it doesn't really bother me but some people do notice or complain about they don't have they don't tell you the name like they don't name their stitches they just use a number so I kind of like it 
Oh, this is the one I tried. <laughs> Flipped right open to it. That was my first shawl fail. Just I did the wrong stitch count. My own fault. Pattern's great. Um, they don't name the stitch, which I kind of like because I like making up my own names. Like Drunken Granny. Who wouldn't want to make a Drunken Granny? So, anyway, I really like it. And feel free to go pick up your own, or when you're thinking of getting a book or if you're a gift for a crocheting person, this is great. Does, for beginner to advanced, it doesn't totally matter. I think it's good for everybody. So check it out and stay hooked. Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to the complete book of crochet. Look. Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our book review of the complete book of crochet stitch designs.